Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. My soul will make its boast in the Lord. The saints will hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I'm Pastor Jeffrey A. Johnson, Sr. I'm the senior pastor of the Eastern Star Church in Indianapolis and Fishers, Indiana. And I just want to exhort you today from the word of God out of Philippians chapter 3, verse 14. Listen to what God's word says. I press towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. The Apostle Paul is telling us we need to press towards the goal for that calling, that purpose that God has for you, that destiny, that destination for the godly goals that God has placed in your heart, your mind, and your spirit. In the NFL is something called the red zone. It's a hundred yard field and uh, of course, you got to go from your own goal line of 100 yards to the opposing team's goal line. And, but somewhere between uh, the 20 yard line of the opposing team and the goal line, uh, that's called the red zone. And that's when it gets more and more difficult to score and get to the goal and get points in that red zone. Everything changes in the red zone. I don't care how well you moved uh, for the first 80 yards. Uh, now the, the red zone, it changes. And it changes because the defensive strategy changes. Defensive personnel changes. The pressure from the opposing team changes. The strategy of the opposing team changes to stop you from going that last 20 yards. Even though you're close, uh, now the opposition makes it even more difficult. Maybe all that pressure you've been going through, maybe those hits you've been taking recently, uh, maybe uh, all that the enemy is doing against you is not because God has forsaken you, but because you are close to that high calling, you're close to that purpose God has designed, you're close to the destiny and the destination, those godly goals God established in your life, you're so close to it that now the enemy is bringing all of that pressure and all those hard hits, but I want you to understand, you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. You're so close now, but just know that you and God can still get you to those last 20 yards to that goal God has. This is not the time to give up. It's not the time to throw in the towel. All that pressure you're under means you're so close. And I know that the God I serve that he not only starts a good work in you, but he brings it to completion. So you hang on in there and keep pressing towards the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for how far you've brought us. And we don't believe you brought us this far to leave us alone. And we know we've gotten beyond so much and we've overcome so much and we've pressed through so much. But we know the closer we get to what you have for us, the busier the enemy gets. And so Lord, I take your sons and your daughters and I put them in your hand. And I pray that in Jesus, that they can get to the finish line, to get to the goal, that destination you have for them. In Jesus' name, amen. Mm -hmm.